population, so our, our student population will be growing by about 2,000 students in the next decade. We need uh, an investment in our facilities um, in the area of safety and security. Um, we, part of the plan is that we would bring our split campus high school together under one roof and also um, and the last part of it is that we would uh, design more flexibly um, flexible classrooms for a more uh, student-centered uh, instruction. Every one of our buildings will be uh, will be touched in some significant way um, so that's a uh, you know, I think that's important for people to understand that this isn't uh, just about one, one building or one part of the district. This is about the entire school district and improving our facilities. $326 million is a, is a large number, and, um, but I think it's important to note that it's a comprehensive plan that impacts every single one of our buildings, and it'll impact every single one of our students. If the bond passes, uh, the um, voter approved debt uh, for a home of $250,000 would be about $275 a year and that's actually less than the average of our neighboring school districts who have gone out um, for bond uh, elections in the last few years. So, so we're not an outlier in terms of what we're asking our community. There was a Rumor started about the district is going to use eminent domain to take homes at North Campus, and that, that's just not true. And so we've been trying to dispel that, that myth. Um, we would be interested in acquiring homes if, if someone was willing to, to sell it, but um, we can pull off the plan without uh, taking any homes. So the, pl the plan at, uh, for the high school we can accomplish on the land that we already own. We offer programming. For, um, for all of our residents. Um, we have a wonderful community education program. You know, we have a vibrant senior center and that would actually move and we'd be investing in that and making that space even better for our senior citizens. Um, you know, it's been proven that school districts that support um, bond referenda, property values are, are, uh, are buoyed by that. Um, so the, the strength of the community, the strength of the tax base, I think is an important part for, for all of our residents. So I think there's a lot to be gained by, uh, by everybody in the community. Voting day is November 5th, um, although uh, early voting has started, so uh, people can vote by absentee ballot currently. And then um, there will be um, the uh, Ramsey County Library in downtown White Bear Lake will be open uh, seven days before November 5th um, for an early voting opportunity there. And then, um, but we have we have a very comprehensive listing of all the, the voting information and polling places and how to register to, to vote on the on the district's website. We are excited about the possibilities of this plan. I think this plan would um, would transform White Bear Lake area schools as we think about what kind of a school district we want to be moving forward. We have a, a great strategic plan that was developed by community members. This. This facilities plan was developed largely by community members and uh, we think this would set us up for the next several decades and really put us on the map. It would give us an opportunity to, to ramp up our career pathway work even further at our high school. We could uh, essentially design a new high school. Um, we, you know, school districts don't get that opportunity very often to, sit, to, to, to just pause what we're doing and rethink and reimagine what high, the high school experience could be for our students. So, um, again, this could really put us on the map um, in terms of some of the significant program changes that we could make. So, so we're excited about the possibility, very much so, and, and very practically we're growing. We're a growing school district and that's a great thing and we need space for the students who are coming.